Hi, this is Rian from Ms. Bindu. In this lab guide, we will use the Active Directory Users and Computer Console and Active Directory Administrative Center on a newly installed domain controller to create a domain user account. By using domain user account, you can log into any domain joint computer within your organization's network. First of all, we need to open Active Directory Users and Computers Console. To do that, we need to click on Start button and let's click on Windows Administrative Tools. From Tools, we need to double click on Active Directory Users and Computers. Once you open Active Directory Users and Computers, you will find whatever system built-in containers you have and whatever OUs you have created. But for this lab guide, we are going to create user account under users container. Let's maximize the console. Let's right click here and select new and take your pointer to user. That will start a new wizard to create a new domain user account. Here you need to fill up the detail about your user account. Once you provide user's first name and last name, user's full name will be populated automatic. Then after, you have to specify user logon name, which is also known as a UPN. By using user logon name, user can log into our domain joint client computer. Once you provide user logon name, click on next to continue. On this console, we need to specify a strong password for our Active Directory domain user account. Once you provide a user password, after that, here you have a certain options. The first option is by default selected that tells us that user must change password at next logon. Let's click on next and click on finish. Here you can see our new Active Directory user account is created successfully with the name Joe Root. Now we are going to use Active Directory Administrative Center to create a new user account. Let's go back to Administrative Tools and this time I'm going to double click on Active Directory Administrative Center. This is a new console to manage Active Directory objects. Let's maximize the console. On left hand side, let's click on our domain name which is must be noob. Here I'm going to create a user account under users container. So let's double click on users. Here you can see your existing user account are displayed. You can see our user account is there, that is Juroot which we have created earlier. On right hand side, under users, let's click on new and select user. There will be a new wizard, but this time we have a lots of information to fill up. The first thing is user's first name and last name. Okay, here I have provided user first name, last name. And user logon name is joss.butler at mustbenoob.lab. And already I have provided the user's password. Under password options, you can verify this checkbox is selected. User must change password at next logon. Fine, here we have plenty of other options to modify the properties of this user account while creating domain user account. These options are not available in Active Directory users and computer snapping. Like set up the group membership, assign a password settings or also known as a fine green password policy, set up user profile, etc. But for this demo, we are not going to set up those details. We're just providing users login name and users password. Once you provide all the details, you need to click on this OK button. And after that, you will have your new user account under that users container. Now we also want to test that whether we can log in with this user account on our domain join Windows 10 client computer or not. We are going to use the credential of our Joe root user account. Let's go to our Windows 10 client computer. And as you can see, this computer is a part of our Active Directory domain must be nope. Let's close this console and let's sign out from this Windows 10 PC. Let's click on input, keyboard and insert control, alter, delete key. Let's click on other user. Let's specify user's login name. This time I'm not going to specify the user's full name, just I'm specifying joe.root. 
and under sign in to as you can see must be noob is selected let's press enter key here it is telling us that user's password must be changed before signing to this windows 10 client computer because we have selected that checkbox while creating active directory user account let's click on ok to do that once you specify user's new password press enter to continue here it is telling us that it is changing user's password here we are receiving message user password has been changed let's click on ok to log in with this user account Okay, we have successfully logged in to this Windows 10 PC using the credential of our domain user account, which is Joe Root. Let's click on Start button and click here. And here you can find the user's login name, which is Joe Root. 